let's get started. Feet hit width apart. Make sure they're grounded. Soften your knees and then lengthen up as tall as you can. Think of that piece of string lifting you up to the ceiling. Shoulder blades in their pockets. A nice pelvic tilt to find neutral. And then engage your core. We'll start off with your head. Take it to the side. Lower it down. Chin down towards your chest. And up the other side. Lower. To the side. Lower. To the side. Lower. To the side. Lower. To the side. Head to the front. Chin down. Back up. Down. Back up. Down. Back up. Down. Back up. Shoulders up to your ears and relax. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now bring them forwards and back. Forwards and back. Forwards and back. Forwards and back. Side bend, reach. Quick, quick. Back up. Other side. And up. Side. And up. Side. And up. Side. And up. Side. And, yeah. Take your arms up, melt the shoulders, hips facing forwards, and twist your upper body to the side. To the middle. Other side. Side. To the middle. Side. To the middle. Side. To the middle, side, to the middle. Take the arms down, lift up your right knee, take it out to the side. Back in, and lower. Someone has got their sound on and they keep flashing up, so that means the camera will go direct to them. Other leg, lift, side, in, and lower. Change lift. Side. In. And lower. Change lift. Side. In. And lower. Hands on your thighs now. Knees soft. Shoulders forward. Start rolling down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. I want you to feel each vertebrae moving on your way down. Take it down as far as you're comfortable. Hold it. Now slowly come back up. Take your arms out in front. Stretch up, eyes you can onto your toes. Come back down, arms on your thighs. And roll. Hold it. Slowly up. Arms out, stretch up, come back down, arms on your thighs, and roll. Hold it there, slowly up. Arms out, stretch up. 
come back down, arms by your sides. Excellent, right, we're going to do our balance one, okay? So we're touching the floor and one leg is going to go out behind. So make sure you've got enough room. Side which leg you want to do first. Make sure your core's engaged. Okay, so off we go. We're going to be touching both hands down to the floor with the leg behind you. Keep the control. Okay, now we're coming back up and the knee is coming up in front. So it doesn't touch the floor. Okay, and again, take the leg behind, touch down. Come back up. Knee up, one more. Take it behind. Oh, shouldn't be on this mat. Touch the floor. Slowly up. And leg down. I'm going to have to try and do the other one off the mat. Okay, we'll do the same with the leg, other leg. Core engaged, down we go. Touch the floor. Come back up. Knee up in front. And again, leg behind. Touch. Come back up. One more. Leg behind. Touch the floor. Come back up. And leg down. Good. We haven't done that one for a long time. It's a pity I can't see you all doing it, so we might have to do it again when we get back to the school. Right, prones, and we're doing threading the needle, okay? Make sure your core's engaged, and down we go. Touch, crawl. Hands underneath shoulders. Okay, so remember with everything, where we're lifting arms, put your hands closer together, therefore you won't hopefully move your hips. So we're going to start with the right hand and we're threading it through the left side. Are you ready? Thread it through and back. Left through and back. Right through and back. Left through and back. Right through and back. Left through and back. Soften your knees, don't wriggle slowly. You're coming back up. Well done. Right, so this time we're going to go onto your side. Doesn't matter which side you go onto because you've not got anyone else with you. Down we go. Touch, crawl. So we'll get into position in the full first. I might need this. Okay, we're going to turn to whichever side you want to turn. Waist up. Are you ready? Thread it through. Reach back up to the ceiling. Thread it through. Reach back up. Thread it through. Reach up. Thread it through. Reach up. Okay, we're going back into your prone. Soften the knees and we're coming up again. Give you a rest in between. Slowly up the body. Oh, okay. We'll do the other side now, the dodgy side. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, touch, crawl, hands underneath shoulders. Get your positioning correct first, and then we're going to turn to the other side. I'm gonna have to put my knee down. Very good. Arm up in the air. Are you ready? Thread it through. Back up to the ceiling. 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 Back into the prone. Hold it. Drop your knees, arms out, and stretch back. Good, okay. From here, we're doing a swan dive. That's exciting. So down on your front. I think we did this the other week, actually. Obviously, I liked it. Okay. So you remember we did a swan dive. You're keeping your hips on the floor, okay? Do not lift your hips up. We're taking the arms. Arms out, make sure your core's engaged. And then when I say, you just let go, stretch out as far as you can. Ready? Let go. And relax. And again, lift. Let go. And relax. Get back into position. Ready, let go, and relax, <coughs> and again, into position, ready, let go, and relax, we'll do one more, get into position, and let go, <laughs> and relax. Okay, I still don't like those. Right, onto your side. Um, facing, oh, it doesn't matter, does it? But lengthen out as long as you can. You want your top hip on top of your bottom hip. Neutral spine. And then engage your core. Okay, firstly, I want to take your top arm up and over, place it on the other arm, and then lift both legs off the floor. Now, top leg lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Now take it in front, back to neutral, in front, back to neutral. Behind, back to neutral, behind, back to neutral, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, take it in front, back to neutral, in front, back to neutral. Behind, back to neutral, behind, back to neutral, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, in front, back to neutral, in front, back to neutral. Behind, back to neutral, behind, back to neutral. Top onto bottom, relax down, arm up and over. And then we can roll onto our other side. 
And again, lengthen. Top hip on top of bottom hip. Neutral spine. Engage your core. Arm up and over. So you're really lengthening. Lift both legs off the floor. And top leg lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Take it in front. Back to neutral. In front. Back to neutral. Behind. Back to neutral. Behind. Back to neutral. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. In front. Back to neutral. In front. Back to neutral. Behind. Back to neutral. Behind. Back to neutral. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Take it in front. Back to neutral. In front. Back to neutral. Behind. Back to neutral. Behind. Back to neutral. Top onto bottom. Relax your legs down, arm up and over. Excellent. Right, next. You are sitting. Oh no, back. Right, onto your back next. I do understand what it says now. Okay, on your backs with your knees bent. Arms by your sides. Feet together, toes out, heels in line with the toes. Push your back into the mat. Then arch it up. Find neutral and then engage your core. Okay, we're doing the bridge with leg lifting. Okay, now we're going to be lifting the leg up in the air, down towards the floor, back up, bend it, and then take it down. Okay, so it's the full works this evening. So we're imprinting your back, activating your glutes, and vertebrae by vertebrae coming up. Come up as high as you can, hold it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the right leg. So lift the foot off the floor first, straighten the leg up to the ceiling, keep your hips up, lower the leg down towards the floor. Now come back up to the ceiling. Bend it, take it to the floor, and then come down vertebrae by vertebrae. Good. Okay, we'll do the other leg. Imprint, activate, and again. Vertebrae by vertebrae, up. Hold it at the top, keep your hips up as high as you can. Lift the left foot, straighten the leg up to the ceiling, lower it down towards the floor. Take it back up to the ceiling. Now bend it. Take it to the floor and come down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Good. Okay. Now this time, instead of just taking it up to the ceiling, we're then going to take it to the side instead of down to the floor. Okay. So imprint, activate your glutes and vertebrae by vertebrae up. Keep your hips up as high as you can. Lift the foot off the floor, straighten the leg up to the ceiling. Now take that leg out to the side. And back in. We'll do that again, out to the side. And back in. Now you can bend it, take it to the floor, and then come down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Good. Okay, left one. Imprint, activate, and again. 
Vertebrae by vertebrae up. Keep your hips up as high as you can. Extend the left. Straight up to the ceiling. Out to the side. Keep your hips in place. Back up to the ceiling. Take it out to the side. Back up to the ceiling. Now bend it. Take it to the floor. And then come down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Excellent. Now bring your knees into your chest. Good. Right, it's prank time. It is prank time. Just get my ball out of my bag. Okay, so we're doing 30, 60, 90, 60, 30. And I know I should change it because we're on, because we're at home, but I'm not going to. That's what we're going to be doing. So get into position. Hopefully you've got someone to talk to. <laughs> Because it's not easy when you're doing it just on your own because you can think about it. Right, elbows underneath shoulders. <coughs> think about your core. Come up onto your knees, tilt your pelvis. Of course, you'll be engaged. If you're lifting, please lift. Lengthen, melt the shoulders. Nice deep breathing. Only 30 seconds. Okay, relax down. Obviously, we're not going to have much of a rest in between. Just a little stretch. Right. Let's do our 60. Elbows underneath shoulders. Think about your core. Come up onto your knees. Tilt your pelvis, of course, you're now being engaged. If you're lifting, please lift. Lengthen your body, melt your shoulders. Nice, deep breathing. Ten seconds left. And relax. Well done. This time we want a decent stretch. And stretch back if you want to. Okay, let's get back into position because we're doing our 90 now. Elbows underneath shoulders. Think about your core. 
Come up onto your knees, tilt your pelvis, of course you'll be engaged. If you're lifting, please lift. Lengthen, melt the shoulders, nice deep breathing. Ten seconds. And relax. Oh no, <gasps> no, don't relax. It's only a minute. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you're on the ball more than I am. Okay, now you can relax. Oh. I hope you didn't all come down. Can stretch back as well if you want to. Right. Now this next one is sixty seconds. Okay. I'll get this one right. Elbows underneath shoulders. Think about your core. Come up onto your knees. Tilt your pelvis. Of course, you'll be engaged. If you're lifting, please lift. Lengthen. Out the shoulders. Nice deep breathing. Ten seconds left. And relax. Another stretch. Okay, a nice easy 30 seconds to finish off. Elbows underneath shoulders. Think about your core, up onto your knees, tilt your pelvis. <coughs> your core should now be engaged if you're lifting. Lift, lengthen, melt the shoulders. Nice deep breathing.
and relax. Well done, have a final stretch. I did let that go of another five seconds. Good. Right, what's next on our list? Trapezius. So staying on your front, push your head down, arms out straight in front of you. Floppy feet so you're not using your glutes. And then engage your core, lift it away from the mat. Okay. Both arms off the floor, bend your elbows, bring them into your sides. Take them straight back out in front and relax them down. Lift them up, elbows in, back out and relax down. Lift, elbows in. Back out, relax down. Lift, elbows in, back out, relax down. Lift, elbows in, back out, relax down. One more, lift, elbows in, back out, relax down. Oh, that felt a bit harder tonight than normal. Okay, next, seated. The lighting here isn't very good. Anyway, oh, maybe it wasn't the light, maybe it was what it exercises. I have just got to make sure this isn't going to be very easy for me. So you need to be on your mat with your legs mat width apart. I think I've got room at all. I'll do what I can. Okay, sit up nice and tall. Think of the piece of string lifting you up to the ceiling. So we're doing the windmill. Remember for your waist. Melt the shoulders. Engage your core. And then we're turning. So turn as far as you can one way. Now remember, you are moving your body, not your arms. So your arms are just attached. So just twist round to the side. And then back to the middle. Just thinking about that piece of string. And then twist to the other side. So it's only the body that's moving. The arms should just go with the body. Just do it in your own time. Make sure that you've done the same amount each side before you bring your arms down. Good. Now we're going to do some roll downs. So you can use your bar, your ball, anything you wish. On position, as you normally do, melt the shoulders, chin off chest, engage your core, and then in your own time, let's go.
Okay, next time you stay up, you can stay there. It's gone a bit out of sync on these. Because I've missed. I know I've missed one. Yes. Okay, so we're going to do some back tilt and lowers. Now I'm going to change this one purely because of the space that I've got. Okay, because I'll, I'll end up smacking myself otherwise, which is not such a good idea. So you want your feet, knees and hips in line. Excuse me, grab your ball and we'll do triceps instead. Melt the shoulders, chin off chest, engage your core. We're going back, tilt, lower. Now take the ball up, drop it behind, back up and then come back up. Nice and tall. Back, tilt and lower. Up. Drop, up, and come up. Back, tilt, lower, up, drop, up, come back up. Back, tilt, lower, ball up, drop, up, come back up. Nice and tall, back, tilt, lower, ball up, drop, up, come back up. Back, tilt, lower, ball up, drop, up, come back up. Nice and tall, we've got one more, back, tilt, Lower, ball up, drop, up, come back up, and relax. Good, right, hands and knees. You want your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath hips. Just gotta make sure that I've got enough room. Right. Arch up to the ceiling. Relax down to the floor. Now find neutral and engage your core. Okay, we're just doing um, Superman, opposite arm, opposite leg. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. And try not to move your torso at all. Are you ready? Opposite arm, opposite leg, slowly lift and lengthen. And lower. Change, lift, and lengthen. And lower. Change, lift, lengthen. And lower. Change, lift. Lengthen and lower. Change lift, lengthen and lower. Change lift, lengthen. 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 And lower. Take the arms out straight and stretch back.
good. Okay. Next. Onto your side. Again, it doesn't matter which way you face. I'm going to do some leg circles. So lengthen out as long as you can. Top hip on top of bottom hip. Neutral spine. Engage your core. Take both legs off the floor. Take your top leg a little bit higher. And we're doing clockwise circles. Off we go. And now change direction. Okay, now top hip on top of bottom hip and relax down. Sorry, leg, I should say. Now roll over onto your other side. And legs in again. <coughs> top hip on top of bottom hip, neutral spine. Engage your core. Take both legs off the floor. Top leg a little bit higher. And off we go, clockwise. And now change direction. Now top onto bottom and relax your legs down. Right from here, you're going to roll onto your back. And make sure that you've got your stretching stuff with you. Not stretching just yet, but shortly. Okay, feet together, toes out, heels in line with the toes. Push your back into the mat. Arch it up, find neutral and engage your core. Take your right leg up into the tabletop, left leg lift. Okay, from here we are just tapping down, heel tapping down. Okay, so right heel tap down and up. Make sure it comes from your hip flexor, left tap and up. Right, tap. And up. Left, tap. And up. Lower your right to the floor. Lower your left down. Good, okay, now we're going to do a double. If you're not happy with a double, obviously do singles again. Take your right leg up into the tabletop, left leg lift. Okay, ready, hip flexors. Tap down and up. Both on the out breath, tap down. Back up. Tap down. 
back up. One more, tap down. Back up. Lower your right to the floor. Lower your left down. Lisa, if you do that properly, that is a very difficult exercise to do. But what can happen is you drop your ankle down and therefore it's not difficult at all. Okay, I want you to take both your hands onto one knee, take your other leg out straight, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. So you're pulling in one knee, you're lengthening out the other. Are you ready? Change. 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 Drop your head down and bring both knees in. Okay, take one foot down to the floor. You're using your band. Grab it. Foot straight in your leg up. Keep it as straight as you can towards you. Drop your toes down if you would like a stronger stretch. Okay, release that now and place that foot onto the other knee. Take it nice and wide. Either lift the one that's on the floor or push down with the palm of the hand on the inside of the knee. Okay, release that down, bring the other knee in. Straighten that one up to the ceiling. Again, straight as you can, bring it in towards you, drop your toes down if you would like a stronger stretch. Now place that foot onto the other knee, take it nice and wide, lift the one that's on the floor or push down with the palm of the hand on the inside of the knee.
Okay, release that down, take your legs out straight, take your arms above your head, get as much distance as you can between your fingers and your toes. In your arms in either by your sides or on your abdominals we'll do our thoracic breathing in through your nose out through your mouth as you're breathing in you're pushing out to your abdominals to get as much air from as low down in your diaphragm as you can as you breathe out pull in your abdominals to expel as much air on each breath When you finish the breath you're on, slowly come up to seated position. The legs out straight, toes in towards you. If you can touch your toes, please do. Okay, release that. Now you can bend your knees. Take your hands behind you. Come forwards. Straighten your legs. And then slowly climb back 